see this? This is trade affluence. It refers to any form of liquid waste discharged by businesses or trade processes. Did you know that all used water discharged by businesses into the sewers in Singapore is regulated? Come, I'll tell you more. Hi everyone, I'm Stefan, an executive engineer with the Water Reclamation Network at PUB. Because water is a precious resource in Singapore, we don't just discard it. Used water, which includes trade effluents from industries, is collected, treated, and purified to produce ultra-clean new water, one of Singapore's four national taps. That's all well and good, but why must we regulate trade effluents? Well, every drop of used water collected must be fit for reuse. But trade effluents can sometimes contain hazardous substances such as synthetic chemicals, heavy metals, cyanide, and petroleum hydrocarbons. This can endanger the health and safety of workers maintaining the public sewage system and disrupt the water reclamation process. That's where I come in. PUB enforces the Sewerage and Drainage Act and its subsidiary legislations. It is my job to ensure that trade effluents discharged from industries meets the discharge requirement. So, if your business generates trade effluent, you must first obtain a permit from PUB. You can apply for it via Go Business, the go-to platform for businesses in Singapore to assess government's e-services and resources. In addition, you should install a wastewater treatment plant to pre-treat your trade effluent or engage licensed waste collectors to dispose of your non-complying trade effluent. So, what are some tips to manage your trade effluent effectively? Firstly, provide proper containment for chemicals. In the event of a chemical spill, use spill kits or absorbent pads to contain the spillage. Remember, do not wash chemicals into the sewers. Only engage licensed toxic industrial waste collectors to collect your used hydrocarbons, spent solvents, laboratory waste, and other toxic industrial waste. Ensure that all staff are trained on proper segregation and disposal of chemicals, as well as identifying signs of non-compliant trade effluent, including abnormality in colour and smell. Lastly, conduct regular sampling and laboratory analysis of treated trade effluent. Keep analysis reports for inspections and produce them when asked by PUB officers. My PUB colleagues and I routinely visit factories to check that effective measures are put in place to ensure trade effluent discharge meets the requirements. We use advanced handheld sensors to detect abnormal water quality in the used water discharge from factories and in the public sewage system. Over the years, we have also deployed advanced sensors capable of detecting flammable substances, heavy metals, and cyanide in selected factories and strategic locations within public sewers. Through this comprehensive monitoring system, we are able to track the health of the public sewage network around the clock and respond swiftly. Now, as a business owner, it's crucial that you dispose of trade effluents appropriately to avoid potential enforcement action. Let's hear what the Senior Deputy Director of Operations and Maintenance, Water Reclamation Network, has to say. Everyone plays an important role in sustaining Singapore's water supply. For industries in particular, trade effluent can contain hazardous substances that are harmful to the public sewerage system. Therefore, it is your responsibility to ensure your trade effluent discharge meets requirements. PUB has taken companies to court for illegal discharge of trade effluent into the sewers. Some of these companies have also had their trade effluent discharge permit rescinded and had to look for alternative disposal avenues. These enforcement actions are essential to safeguard our used water resource. All businesses can play a part in protecting our water resources. Let's all work together and contribute towards water sustainability in Singapore.